the Harlem Renaissance, 1917 to 1935, a period full of art, music, poetry, theater, and creation by African Americans in the United States. This time of artistic innovation and appreciation of art in the black community originated in Harlem, but quickly spread throughout the rest of America and places like the Caribbean. This movement was sparked by the migration of black people from south to the north after World War I to escape racial discrimination and inequality. African Americans congregated and collaborated in Harlem, creating a new, vibrant, creative black culture in America. The collaboration of great artists, performers, and actors, and also musicians caused the jazz area to be born. New styles of art and writing to, new, to emerge and new musicals and plays to be written. The Harlem Renaissance was a significant time for American literature. Langston Hughes was an iconic poet during the Roaring Twenties. He wrote fables, spirituals, children's novels, and blues songs centered around African American culture. Notable Hughes poems include Mother of the Sun, Dreams Deferred, and many more. Besides writing and literature, there are many other artists and musicians that had a huge influence on the Harlem Renaissance. For example, Louis Armstrong, a world renowned musician, greatly impacted the musical culture of our society and brought a new side of music, jazz and blues to the table. Aaron Douglas and Lois Maloney Jones were the artists at this time who turned the struggles that black people faced to art. Harlem Renaissance was not only a time where African American culture was appreciated, but also a time where black people in America used art as a form of expression for the oppression they faced. A racial system called Jim Crow took place between 1877 and the mid-1960s. Under Jim Crow laws, all African Americans were branded as middle-class citizens and below white people. Jim Crow represented the legitimization of anti-black racism. Many Christian ministers spread the idea that God was for ra racial segregation and that whites had more power while blacks were fated to be slaves. Jim Crow laws prevented blacks and whites from interacting with each other at all. Black people and white people lived completely different lifestyles. White people had access to many more things and lived a very free, careless, relaxed lifestyle. On the other hand, people of color were limited and confined to certain black colored places only. For example, many American theaters did not allow for African American performers or audience members of color in their building. A good example would be the Apollo Theater, popular for its burlesque performances. Colored people could not make purchases from, eat with, attend school with, share bathrooms, or even talk to white people. The only form of interaction between people of color and white people was when people of color would perform for them in the clubs. Though white people hated black people, they admired black culture and took black styles, art, and entertainment for their own. Although the Harlem Renaissance was filled with appreciation of black culture and art, it was also a time for cultural appropriation of it. Cultural appropriation, the stealing, mocking, and appropriating of other culture was very prevalent during this time, and primarily white people appropriating black culture. White people loved black art and culture, but hated the black people themselves. The Harlem Renaissance thrived from 1919 to 1929, filled with art, culture, and literature. However, on October 29, 1929, the stock market crashed in the U.S. By 1933, 13 to 15 million Americans were unemployed and half of all the national banks failed. Many Americans were struggling financially, which meant that they could no longer throw huge extravagant parties, create expensive art, perform in theaters, or even write and publish literature, thus marking the end of the Roaring Twenties and the Harlem Renaissance. The Harlem Renaissance was greatly influential on the culture, social, and political aspects of our country. It not only brought more attention to the African American community through plays, literature, music, and self-expression that went along with these things, but also shined a light upon the struggles that the black community truly faced. It was a way not only for black people to express themselves artistically, but also a way for them to creatively vocalize the oppression they faced during this time. 
The Harlem Renaissance brought forward issues faced by African Americans such as segregation, Jim Crow, cultural appropriation, discrimination, and inequality, and brought forward a new era in our nation's history. Today, we still see the lasting effects the Harlem Renaissance had on our country. For example, jazz music was first played during this time period, and it is still popular to this day. The writing and art styles created during the Harlem Renaissance inspired many seen today, and many other forms of creation took inspiration from this iconic time period. Shik's gonna hate us. Shik's gonna hate us.